If you're thinking about buying a house and you're probably wondering how interest rate will affect your house payment, or if you're thinking about selling your home, then you're probably thinking how interest rates are going to affect the price of your home. Today, we're going to talk about a tactic that's called a two to one temporary buy down. And here with me, I have Chris Heichel from Fairway Mortgage that's going to help us understand this great option. So Chris, tell us, what is the two to one temporary buy down? Hey, Joel, thanks for having me. So a two to one temporary buy down is uh, essentially your market rate, whatever the rate is on the day that you lock in when you're going through the loan process. So today it's 6.625. We got hit really, really hard last week with yes. interest rate hikes. It's come down a little bit, but I, uh, anyways, uh, so that 6.625, the first year your interest rate is um, 2% less. So okay. the first year your interest rate is going to be 4.625. The second year, your interest rate is going to be 5.625. And then your third and subsequent years, it's going to be that final rate of 6.625. Our hope in this product, and the reason I really love it, is because we are 100% certain once we hit that recession, interest rates are going to fall. Right. Um, for as long as they've been tracking recessions, this is 100%. It happens every single recession. So basically, so the, the, the goal with this uh, tactic is, is that your interest rate will be lower the first year by 2%. And then the second year, it'll be down 1%. And then on the third year, it'll adjust to the rate that you agreed upon when you bought the house. That's right. going to be fixed for the rest of the mortgage, right? That's correct. Okay. So what you're hoping is that uh, in uh, you know one year or two years, interest rates will go down. Then at that point, then you can refinance and then benefit from that lower rate. Absolutely. That's exactly the tactic that um, the reason that we like this so much. The product's okay. been around for a very long time, but we just kind of dust off the shelves because we haven't seen rates like this in, um, honestly, I don't, I can't even remember, maybe 2010. Okay. Uh, now, maybe even before that, to be honest with you, 2004, okay. 2005. So it's been a long time. Okay, so let's say someone buying, you know, the median sale price I checked for last month, it was about two ninety five. So let's say three hundred thousand dollars. How much would it cost to do this tactic to do the two to one uh, temporary buy down? What would okay. be the cost of that? Yeah, so the cost of the buy down is a little over eight thousand dollars, eight thousand forty nine dollars and four cents. Okay, so it's about eight thousand dollars, but then your first year, the, your interest rate is two percent less. So um, how much would someone save, you know, every month on that payment? Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see. So the first year, it'd be a monthly savings of four hundred forty-three dollars and uh, twenty cents for uh, four forty-three forty-nine. I'm sorry, okay. every single month for the first year. So for the first year, first year you'll save about four hundred forty dollars, and then the second year, how much would you save? The second year is about two hundred dollars or so a month. Two twenty-seven twenty-seven. Okay. So you'll month. save some money there. Obviously, you're hoping that interest rates go down so you can refinance. Uh, but worst case scenario, I mean, you still have to be able to afford the interest rates. Um, it's just a way to, you know, give you a little bit of savings. Maybe if you're buying a house, you want to do some finishes or you have some projects or things like that. Or you can just kind of save that money. And then if interest rates don't go, uh, don't go down and maybe they keep going up a little bit or they stay yeah. where they're at, you can at least maybe save that money for an emergency or, you know, future uh, house payments, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, I mean, and the savings really is that full 8,000 that's being paid um, that's sitting in the escrow account. So that's your savings for the first um, two years. Okay. And yeah, I mean, rates, we're just trained to think of rates, you know, being in the fours or below four, and they're just not there. Likely in our lifetime, we're never going to see them again below 4%. So, okay. you know, huh. that was a great run, but, um, you know, it's over. Right. Um, well, if you're barring a war or a pandemic or something like that happening, we may see them there again, but just, right. you know, just in a normal market, we won't. Well, historically, I mean, rates are still pretty low historically, you know, so it, we're just like you said, we were used to like the really uh, super low rates. So tell me, I mean, I know like right now there's uh, homes are staying in the market a little longer. So it's taking mm -hmm. a little longer to sell. Mm -hmm. I think some sellers are still like pretty, you know, like, uh, have high expectations of mm -hmm. trying to yeah. push the envelope on pricing. So if you're a seller and, you know, you could pay $8,000 towards closing costs, a buyer could take advantage of this tactic, uh, this program per se, and then they could, you know, afford the house uh, more easily. And then instead of say like reducing the price, I don't know, 
twenty thousand, you can give eight thousand, and kind of could be a win-win for both, you know, the buyer and the seller. Absolutely. Right? Have you seen this? Uh, sellers take advantage of this as well, or? Absolutely. They're going to, if they start advertising that they're offering to um, do a two, one temporary buy down, and that would lower the payment by, you know, $400 a month or whatever it might be for the first year, they're going to open up a whole new market for buyers. It's just a whole nother um, way to get people um, back into the market, back into your house. Um, maybe those that looked at it and didn't know about a two, one buy down, right? So even for the listing agent, it might be time to brush off yeah. um, those people that maybe came through and were uncomfortable with the payment and give them a ring, uh, give the give the buyer's agent a ring and just say, hey, uh, you know, would your people be interested in maybe making an offer on the house if we did a temporary buy down? Sure. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, I think we were talking before you mentioned that say, you know, after the first year, maybe even a year and a half, uh, it rates to go down and someone wants to refinance. Uh, what would happen with the money that was used to, to do the buy down? What happens to that money? Right on. So that money actually goes into an escrow account okay. and we subsidize um, the difference in the payment out of that $8,000 that um, hopefully the seller paid. Right. Um, so we subsidize the payment with that. And whenever you refinance, if it's within the first two years, right? Because that's how long that subsidy is going to last. If it's within the first two years, then whatever's unused goes towards the payoff of the buyer's mortgage when they refinance it. So okay. it's not cash in hand necessarily, but it's not being thrown away, right? If their their mortgage balance is being reduced by whatever's left over in that escrow account. Okay. So if it was $8,000 to do this uh, program and then there's a thousand left and someone refinances, that thousand dollars will go to reduce whatever the loan Correct. amount is the principal. Okay. Well, right. that's good to hear. You know, the, the pe people pay points. Um, right now, and they're likely going to refinance in less than 12 months. And if you paid for those points and you haven't really recouped the cost yet, it's gone forever. Okay. So if anyone have any questions, what's the best way to reach out to you? Yeah, absolutely. They can dial me at 507-460-4500. I'll have your contact information on the video description. So don't worry, okay. we'll have that contact, right. uh, but either email or text or call or whatever, they can reach out to you. You bet. And obviously, if you have also any questions about real estate, you can always reach out to me as well. Sure but uh, all right. Well, thank you so much, Chris. Thanks, Joe. It was great.